How's it going, everybody? Back with our final Rise of the Floodborne box from our sealed case. Um, we have not hit the Enchanted yet, so fingers crossed, the Enchanted's in this one. Uh, before we rip into the box, without further ado, this is our last starter deck we have available for a giveaway. So do all the YouTube things, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed and uh, chat with us down below, and I'll run a randomizer and... Uh, We'll do a giveaway on that starter deck. But I want to see what enchanted we got, if any. So let's rip into this box without too much more weight. I will be pretty disappointed if we got a dud case, honestly, and don't get an enchanted, but it is what it is. We will get them one way or the other. We still have two legendaries we need as well. So. Two legendaries and lots of foils. So again, we have all of the commons. This is the first time you're seeing an opening of a Lorcana booster pack. You get six commons, one of each color, three uncommons. So we'll set those aside. And then two rare slots. So our first rare slot is a Dragon Gem. Our next is a Cogsworth Grandfather Clock, super rare. And our foil is blue fun loving bear which is a duplicate because we pulled that in the last box so we pulled i think seven duplicate foils um in the last box so four in the first box seven in this one or in the last one and i expect to pull fewer unique foils this time around as well so still we will keep pulling until we get them all or uh, trading until we get them all goofy night for a day Third one we've pulled here, so two extras. That's going to be a good one to have as extras. And Sleepy's Flute is our next. And Noi, Orphan Thief, is our foil. Good rare foil there. But I am hopeful that we get the uh, Enchanted out of here. And can cross one of them off the list. Um, if I had to pick, I don't know. All of them are pretty good. I I would pick based on value since we have to get them all anyway. So I think Cinderella right now is the expensive one. Merlin Rabbit is our first rare. Our next is Mulan Reflecting with Benja as our foil. I'm going to reorganize our foils over here a little bit. There we go. So whichever Enchanted is the most expensive, that'll be the hardest one for me to trade for or source so i want to pull that one <laughs> we got a one in 12 shot at it if this box has our enchanted in it which it should radigan very large mouse is our rare cronk is our second with pain as our foil Con wouldn't be one I uh, would would be mad at pulling. That's cool art. Actually, all of them are. I like the Namari art probably better than any of the others, but I don't think that's a particularly valuable one. So, Prince John, greediest of all, is our first, and a super rare Namari with Queen of Hearts as our foil. So no legendaries yet. I believe one in every six packs is supposed to be the odds, so maybe this one's got our legendary in it. First rare slot is Gaston. Next is super rare Mickey Mouse, friendly face, with a rare dragon gem as our foil. No, uh... No legendary foils pulled either, so we got lucky with the first chapter and pulled a ton of the legendary foils and only had to buy a few or trade for a few. So Teeth and Ambitions is our first rare with the Huntsman as our next and a Gaston Uncommon as our foil. We uh, will likely also take a trip to the card shop and see what singles they have available. And I'll try to 
see if they're okay with me filming in there and setting up a little tripod and we can uh, I can show you how I buy singles at the at my local card shop for uh, for these sets. Madame Mim is our first rare. Prince Charming is our second with a there we go. Super rare Mickey Mouse friendly face as our foil. Good foil to have. All right. Still no Oh uh, all right, so looks like this is going to be our enchanted. <laughs> so that's good. I cheated a little and saw it as my fingers uh, splayed them out to the side. So, Legend of Sword in the Stone, Raya, Enchantress, Popsicle, Painting the Roses Red, Cinderella Night in Training, Donald Duck, Sardine Can, Rapunzel. So, first rare slot is Pack Tactics. Super rare Arthur. And let's see what enchanted we get. Pete. <laughs> so again, I uh, am not sure what the values on all the enchanteds are yet. Um, but I highly doubt Pete is one of the valuable ones. Still, never going to be mad at pulling an enchanted. Heck yeah. So that is our first enchanted pull for Rise of the Floodborne. And again, I'm going to try to order some more product. And maybe we can pull some more. All right, good deal. Now, we've got our enchanted out of the way. Let's see what legendaries we can get and see if we can get our final two legendaries we need to uh, finish the, the base set, the, the non-foil set. Gruesome and Grim is our first rare with Cobra Bubbles and Improvise. It would be nice if we could get a foil legendary out of this as well. It would be even nicer if we somehow got an error box and we get another enchanted, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, first first slot is Dinner Bell, Chief Bogo, and the Queen as our foil. Still no legendaries. They must be all at the bottom of the box. Got to figure out a way to open these where I don't spoil the surprise for myself. Uh, when we were opening the blister packs, I guess I just wasn't paying attention and pulled those two legendaries almost right in a row. Radigan's Marvelous Trap and Sisu, again, this is our third Sisu, is our first legendary of the box with a Merlin as our foil. So let's sleeve that up, but uh, Sisu, I'm sorry, you are not going in front of our Enchanted. And we will keep pulling. That box came out ugly. That part. Let's see. So we picked exactly in the wrong order for our uh, Enchanted to try to pull that in the first box. We pulled it in our last box. Falling down the rabbit hole is our first rare. Legendary Namari. There we go. Needed that. And the Knock is our next foil. So perfect. We need Madame Mim as our only legendary left and that will finish out our base set of cards. We will have all 204, and then we will just need some foils and some legendaries. Awesome card, best card art in the set. I wish they would have made that a legendary. And Yzma is our first rare. It is a super rare, so this next one should be either a super rare or a legendary. It is another super rare, the Queen Commanding Presence. And Donald Duck, Deep Sea Diver as our foil, which I believe is a duplicate. First rare slot is the world's greatest criminal mind and a super rare Tiana with a go the distance foil. So still. Need some of those legendaries. Another honey wizard. I'd be interested in going back and uh, looking at the order I've pulled some of these cards because Winnie the Pooh, Minnie, and Hypnotize, I believe, have I've pulled those in those order like three times so far. Honest John 
is our first and Lady Tremaine Imperious Queen with a Radigan as our foil. Making uh, record time on this box. Croquet Mallet, Fidget, Flynn Ratter, Jasmine, Happy, Last Cannon, Judy Hops, Card Soldiers, Li Shang, and Lucifer is our first rare with a Cheshire Cat as our next and a Prince Never Gives Up. Uncommon Foil. So in the first chapter, we pulled the Simba Enchanted, we pulled the Hades Enchanted, and we pulled the Mickey Mouse, one of the Mickey Mouse Enchanteds. Um, so we got Pete this time around. I'll be excited to open more of this product and see if we can pull more of it going forward. Winnie the Pooh is our first rare. Next is the Sorcerer's Spellbook and Pinocchio is our foil. Because I really do enjoy ripping these packs and um, trading. So I'm, I'm glad to finally get this case fully opened uh, just because I do want to um, start cataloging all the cards and trading everything. Oops, almost get past there. So Hercules is our first rare with a bibbidi bobbidi boo as our next and a binding contract as our foil. So we are uh, really light on the legendaries here. Does an enchanted box have fewer legendaries? I'm not sure. Ulan, Donald Duck, Basil, Hold Still, Charge, Ring the Bell, Thing Crossbow, and Mana. First rare is Noi, Madam Mim, and Double Madam Mims as our foil. So we have four packs left, and I would anticipate two of these to have legendaries in them. Um, maybe not, though. Maybe the Enchanted uh, takes up a couple of those slots for Rise of the Floodborne. So let's see. Maybe we'll get lucky and have a double legendary pack. Not this one, though. Tuck Tuck Wrecking Ball and Grandpappy with a Radigan Criminal Mastermind as our foil. All right, three packs left. Do two of them have legendaries? Or do we just have fewer hits in this box because of the enchanted. First rare slot is Christopher Robin, then a King Louie, and a Rapunzel as our foil. Yeah, so it's looking like maybe there are just fewer hits when there is an enchanted present. Which will leave us then with the Madame Mim Purple Dragon as uh, the legendary that we still need. I'm sure we can get that as a single eventually. So Beast Selfless Protector is our first. It is a super rare. We got a legendary Fairy Godmother, so there's one of them. And a Chip as our foil. Yeah, so three legendaries and one enchanted. Let's see if our final pack here has another legendary in it. It would be cool if we could pull every one of every card from the case. So just got one more to go. All right, first rare slot. Okay, well, we're going to get a double enchanted pack. So first rare slot is our, uh, I'm sorry, not double enchanted, double legendary. Snow White, legendary. Our next is... Scar, so we did not get the Madame Mim, and our foil is Gumbo Pot. So, not bad though, um, you know, out of 204 cards, we pulled uh, 203 of them in the regular version, and then obviously have a bunch more foils and enchanteds to try to pull. So, good box here, we got our Pete Enchanted. Heck yeah. And then another Sisu, Namari, which we needed, Fairy Godmother, Scar, and Snow White, which are all duplicates for us. But still, finally an Enchanted to put in the binder and get that wonderful page started. Let's go ahead and get these sleeved up and put in the binder.
right, so after our case, 136 cards left. So we've got some work to do. We're going to start uh, checking for singles at the local card shop. We're going to start cataloging everything we've pulled and uh, start offering it up for trade, see what people have that they need, and um, see how many of those 136 we can cross off quickly. We obviously have the most work to do with Enchanted, so Enchanted will be the priority. If you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate it. Uh, the giveaway for this starter deck will be in a week or so, and all you need to do is like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one, and hopefully we have a pretty good update next time around for the Master Set. Thanks for watching. Bye.